Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching my YouTube channel AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we will discuss a question that has been asked in CSVTU University exam in the year 2006. The question is like this. A spherical balloon of 1 meter diameter contains a gas at 200 kilopascal and 300 Kelvin. The gas inside the balloon is heated until pressure reaches 500 kilopascal. During the process of heating, the pressure inside the balloon is proportional to the diameter of the balloon. Make calculation for the work done by the gas. So, we are start the question by writing down the given values. Given. We have P1 equal to 200 kilopascal. The initial. P2 as 500 kilopascal. D1 as 1 meter right and there is a, a temperature also T1 initial temperature as 300 Kelvin and it also says that the pressure inside the balloon is proportional to the diameter of the balloon that means P is proportional to D which means P1 by P2 is equal to d1 by d2 right what we have to find out to find uh, work done ok so see can we find d2 yes because we know p1 and p2 and we have this relationship so p1 by P2 is equal to D1 by D2. P1 is 200 kilopascal by 500 kilopascal is equal to 1 by D2. So D2 is equal to 2.5 meter. Okay, we got this. Also, from this uh, statement that is pressure inside the balloon is proportional to the diameter of the balloon, we have P as proportional to D. This means P will e be equal to KD where K is a proportionality constant. It e constant ok so if we put uh, p1 uh, make this as equation 1 put p1 and d1 in equation 1 then we have k equal to 200 by 1 which means 200 right now also also we know that volume of spherical balloon is 4 by 3 pi r cube it can be written as pi d cube by 6 as r is equal to d by 2 right
okay so it uh, it can be written in this way there in the term of derivative dv as pi by 2 d square into dd right okay put it as equation 2 now we have uh, work done can be uh, for a closed system is uh, given by integral pdv right as we know so w is equal to integral pdv now uh, we can replace p by kd from equation 1 and dv from uh, as pi by 2 d square multiplied by dd from equation 2 so integral kd pi by 2 d square dd as you see the only variable is d so our limit will be from d1 to d2 and we also know the value of k and the value of d1 and d2 d1 was given in the question and d2 we have calculated so we have this integral uh, lower limit as 1 and upper limit as 2.5 d cube dd and we will solve this and we will get the answer as 2987.9 so we get as 2987.9 kilojoule and this is our answer